coalition the tension force we're going to solve a few problem and hopefully that will help us understand the tension force tension force comes from the rope understand that the rope cannot push the rope only can pull okay that's the main idea over here so i'm going to give you a three scenario and you're going to help you want to try to solve this three problem three problem involves with a truck Problem one is uh, involved with the truck. What do you want to do with this truck? You're going to have someone driving it and you're sitting in the back of the truck. Do an experiment. You're going to use a rope and you're going to attach a mass to the rope. When you attach a mass to the rope, you call it ball. What are you going to do with this? You're going to bring it to the, you want to hang it to the ceiling and attach the bar with the rope. And you're gonna tell me whether the truck, this is a truck, whether the truck is at rest, is, is, is moving with constant acceleration, Are moving with constant velocity. All right, now let's consider this problem. Now, instead of the bob looks like that one, now the bob looks like this one, and it's moving back and forth. Now you're gonna tell me whether the truck is at rest, accelerating, or moving with constant velocity. And scenario three, finally, I'm going to give you the car acceleration. The truck accelerating this way. Now you're going to draw the bob in the truck. Okay, the first one would be the truck could be at rest or could be moving with constant velocity because both case are the same as the acceleration are the same for both case now the second one also the car could be at rest the car could be at constant velocity because when the car accelerates you cannot create a pendulum with the accelerating car or truck this one the pendulum the bob you cannot create pendulum. So the bar would look like this. Okay. We want to try to find the acceleration of the truck using a rope hanging from the car ceiling attached with the bar. How are we going to do that? First, we're going to start with the three body diagram. So this is the bar. The bar has two force. One is all well, three force acting on it. One is M1G, one is FTX, and one is FTY. FTY cancel with M1G, but FTX doesn't cancel with anything, so there is a net force at the direction of the acceleration, and that's the source of acceleration. Okay. So, we want to find the formula and then we're going to use F equal MA to find the, the acceleration of the car. Okay, let's use Soka to work. Sign is opposite. What is opposite? Opposite is FTX. Jason is FT. So, FTX. FT sine theta. Now we're going to do cosine. Cosine theta is Jason, which is so FTY is FT cosine theta. You know, right? FTY is FT cosine theta. Okay, so what are we going to do now? 
we're going to use f equal ma, okay? So f equal to ma and f equal to ma at the x direction and the y direction. At the x direction, how many force acting on it? Only one. Ftx is equal to negative ma because the car accelerating this direction. This one, Fty minus m1g is equal to negative m1a because the car is um, this is negative ma and this is zero because the car is ac not accelerating in the y direction so fty is ft cosine theta is equal to m1g and ft sine theta Uh, well, the y direction there is uh, no net force. Uh, however, the x the direction net force is negative. It's net force is this direction. Okay, good. So now let's find this one. Ft is equal to m1g cosine theta. We're going to replace Ft by m1g cosine theta. Sine theta. Sine, sine theta over cosine theta, M and cancel. Sine theta over cosine theta, tangent theta, G over, over acceleration. So acceleration is, let's say the car is moving with 7 degree angle. So acceleration is tangent 7 degree G. Okay, now let's see, acceleration is tangent 7 degree times 9.8. So acceleration times out to be 1.2 meter per second is squared. Okay, now let's consider the another problem to see what we mean tension force and can tension force be infinite? Well, no, tension force cannot be infinite. Let's check this out. You have a truck. Truck attached to a tra tra trailer. And the rope has a break even point, 7,000 Newton. The car is accelerating A is equal to 3 meter per second square. There is a friction FF on the ground which is 1,000 Newton. We want to find the mass of the trailer. So the mass of the trailer would be F equal ma. F is, well, there are two forces acting on the tra trailer. This is Ft, this is FF. F T minus FF. F. So Ft is 7,000. So we'll, we'll try to find the mass by using the fact that with three meter per second squared, the, the rope breaks. So, so acceleration, okay, so we mass mass cancel. Okay, let's see. FF. We try to find the acceleration. So Ft is 7,000, this is 1,000, this is uh, negative A, this is 3. So acceleration is 2,000. Okay, now consider this problem. 
all of a sudden, the driver launches less and the driver moves it down 2,000 velocity, or 2,000 newton, which is tension force. However, there is a wind blow sideways uh, 2500. And the driver measures the resultant force, which is this is not given, let's say this is given. Okay? Not given. So I wanted to find the wind, the resultant of the wind. Okay, you're going to use the uh, Pythagorean theorem, head and tail. This is the head, this is the tail, and this is the resultant. So A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. So, so A squared is 2500 squared minus B is now the last problem would be the driver law. Okay, so yeah, good. Now the same problem using different way. Uh, R squared is equal to a squared plus two ab cosine a squared plus b squared plus two ab cosine c. R would be two five zero zero squared, two thousand squared, two thousand b cosine. How can we do cosine? Well, that's very easy. Let's say I have this angle. I have this one, head and tail. I have the resultant. But before I put the resultant, I want to put the parallelogram because I'm using law parallelogram. OK, notice that I have few angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E. Which angle I should put here over cosine B? Okay, understand that. Only one angle E is the angle between two vectors. One vector, two vector, so it's 90 degrees. A also angle between vectors, but not angle between two vectors. This is not angle between two vectors. This is head and tail. This is angle between two vectors. So this whole thing is zero. So B is 1500. 